So, the truth has now come out. Hillary has come out of the bushes. She's come out of hiding, and she was talking to a group in San Francisco yesterday, and she said, yes, we need to take the guns out of the hands of the criminals. She is willing and she's ready to fight. She's ready to fight for all those people in San Francisco. And she said, I'm going to take the guns out of the hands of the criminals. Really, Hillary, you mean the same way that you and your government has taken the drugs out of the hands of the druggies? and The same way you took alcohol out of the hands of the alkies? In the same way you took gambling games out of the hands of the gamblers. And yes, your war on drugs and your war on alcohol has been so successful that now you believe that you can take the, hand, the guns, you can take the guns out of the hands of the criminals. Wow, with your track record, who in the world is going to believe you? I mean, look at these words. And she would only say these in places like San Francisco. Would she say would she say this down in Dallas? No, because she speaks out of two sides of her mouth. In Dallas, she'll say one thing. In San Francisco, she'll say another. And she got a standing ovation. A standing ovation in San Francisco. They want to take the guns away from everybody. Hillary said... We got to have a common sense gun reform. She's ready, people. If you elect this woman, she will take your guns away from you, period. I don't care what she says. But before we get to that, let's talk about something that is in common with all these young people who shoot and mass murders. There's one thing they all have in common in the last couple decades at least for the last 15 years, you, you hear about these young people. They're always very, very depressed. And there's one thing they all have in common before they go on to their mass murders. They all take antidepressants. That's exactly right. Every single young person who's gone on a mass murder escapade, whether it be in school or this guy or the one in just now in South Carolina, killed nine people at the church, they were all on some kind of antidepressant. I'm here to tell you it's a CIA operation. To put all these children on antidepressants and they end up getting violent. There's something in these drugs that make them very, very violent. So instead of getting these kids in some sort of outdoor, recreational, sun, healthy way of getting off, get, their, get, get away from their depression... The CIA wants them on these drugs, and then they go on a rampage. And then Hillary says, okay, let's take the guns out of everybody's hands. It's all put together. It's all, it's all been planned. Let's take the crack cocaine, another CIA experiment. Anybody with any information who knew about how they got the crack on the street through the how the CIA did it. It was a CIA operation to get the crack on the streets. First they gave it free. The Cuban Mafia gave it out free at first until they got people hooked. It's all a conspiracy. When it comes to drugs on the streets, they cannot win the war. They've lost the war completely. A druggie will get his hands on drugs one way or another. But Hillary thinks she can keep guns out of the criminals' hands. Really. The CIA gave the crack to the Cuban Mafia. The Cuban Mafia then gave it free on the streets until everybody got hooked. It was a CIA operation to get crack on the streets. And it's a now a CIA operation. They, now they're working with doctors to make sure the doctors understand you will put these drug these kids on drugs. When these kids come in, if you do not put them on these antidepressants, we can take your license away from you. The doctors are forced to hand out these antidepressants. These antidepressants have been 
made by pharmaceutical companies, and they know that these young kids can have violent episodes, and that's what's happened. Every single violent mass murder by young people in the last 20 years, they have been on these drugs, which are engineered to do just that. This man, look at the face. This is the face of a kid who has no idea what he did. He All he knows now that he was on some sort of antidepressant. He did something really bad, and now he's finally waking up. Reality sinking in, and he, he is in shock. He can't believe it. I'm not saying he's a good kid. He was a depressed kid who was given drugs, a CIA secret operation, and now he's going to have to pay for the rest of his life because Hillary wants to take all your, your guns away from you. See, they will not be able to take your guns away from you unless you have guys like this or the guy who just went to the South Carolina church and killed nine people. That's how they're going to take the guns away. Hillary's coming for the guns. Yes, Hillary's coming for the guns. A three-year-old could see this from a mile away. And when she gets standing ovations in San Francisco, you should be concerned if you like your gun. If you, if you're, if you like your gun, you should be concerned because Hillary will take it away. And she's no different than the Republican. Don't think the Republican is going to save your gun either. No, nine times out of ten, the Republican, whoever it will be, he'll want to take your guns also because there's no difference between the Democrats and the Republicans. The same agenda is there. The same agenda. Take your guns away. Get the banking, get the banking system back in order.